Welcome back to On The Sticks for some more Madden 22 Ultimate Team gameplay. And today we're checking out Campus Hero Volume 2 Defense Solos. You know, still going through Campus Hero. Another easy 15 solo challenges. But you guys want to make sure you knock out some of these challenges and some of the offensive challenges so you can get your free 94 overall all conference fantasy pack all you gotta do is complete 90 total stars that's it these challenges are super easy so if you want a free card all you gotta do is complete them like i said you don't even have to get all the stars on offense and all the stars on defense just go in and get the ones you can get and keep it moving like i said both sets of challenges are pretty easy if you haven't watched our offensive set of solos videos make sure you go check that out but yeah we knocked out the defensive solos pretty easy now we're gonna check out the different players there was in the pack and see who we ended up choosing all right not those solos out all right let's see who all are available in this 94 overall pack who we got first we got aman green amaha rashad bruce matthews billy joe dupree sam bradford Brandon Spikes, Anthony McFarlane, seen us get his 85 overall last video, Brad Van Pelt, Veron Landry, and Jack Tatum. I feel like it's a lot of different ways you can go in this pack for who you want. I really, really was stuck on Leron Landry. I really thought about grabbing him, but I was like, I really like using my out of position Calvin Johnson at free safety. And I got that uh, Taylor Mays, the season champ, series champ, whichever one is called, Taylor Mays. You know, his rating is gonna eventually get up to that 94 and go all the way to 96, if I'm not mistaken. I was like, I don't know if I wanna, wanna get Lauren Landry if I know Taylor Mays is gonna end up being better than him, you know, eventually. I really thought about getting <laughs> Bruce Matthews because I need a better center. I was like, can I really waste this pack on the center? I want to say I wasted some, uh, it was either most fear or zero chill packs on some offense alignment. And I couldn't believe I'd done that low key. I was very surprised that I did that. There wasn't really no point in me looking at a running back or a receiver. I'm pretty straight at running back and receiver. Got too many running backs, too many receivers. Don't need no more of them. I thought about Sam Bradford. Don't need a quarterback. I got gridiron cam doing his thing then i looked over brandon spikes even though i got junior say 90 overall i was like shoot brandon spikes them ratings are look, looking too good <laughs> i can start him and slide junior say over a little key i went back and look at sam bradford you know i wouldn't mind having bradford but I think it came down to him being just a tad bit slow. And I feel like his other stats aren't too much better than Cam's. I was like, he wouldn't be worth it. Them being the same overall. Wasn't really no point in me choosing him. Ramon Green. I feel like this wasn't really no point in taking him at 94. Sean Alexander doing his thing. Even though I'm not even using Sean Alexander right now. I'm using uh, out of position Mike Vick and out of position Odell Beckham, I believe. So it wasn't really no point. I really could have used Anthony McFarlane. <laughs> Once again, I know in the last video I talked about how I had got rid of my, shoot, I can't remember what rating he was, like 90 something overall defensive tackle for a zero chill set. And I felt like my defensive line was hurting from that. So Anthony McFarlane would have been a solid pick right there in my opinion. Probably should have took him. Probably should have took that man. But I think in the end, I ended up just going with Brandon Spikes. Like I said, I can put him in at uh, that starting middle linebacker inside Junior Seau over until he's writing good up some more. But uh, I feel like this was a solid pick. Or well, shoot, I take that back. I felt like it was a solid pick until I did the next set of solos and played against the 94 overall Leroy Landry. And when I tell you that man fast, that man fast. <laughs> I want to say pretty much any play where I thought I had a long run or a long catch, he pretty much caught me because his speed is crazy. And I want to say he made me fumble a couple of times from hits too. So after uh, <laughs> after I played against him, I might have made the wrong decision. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with my pick of uh, Brandon Spikes, but part of me wish I would have took either Anthony McFarlane or 
around Landry. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. We still got one more, one more video from Campus Heroes 2. The uh, challenges I'm just I was just talking about when you're actually playing against all the the heroes and whatnot. Got that video dropping at some point, as well as now we have the the playoff promo dropping. I think it's out. Yeah, it dropped earlier today. So we'll be working on that tonight, probably playing it through tonight. Maybe we'll drop some of that tomorrow or some point over the weekend. If not over the weekend, Monday for sure. So yeah, make sure you check back here for some more Madden 22 content, as well as check out our other gaming news videos. I know we just dropped something about Rainbow Six Extraction, uh, Ubisoft Plus coming to the Xbox. Kind of think a Pokemon video sh might be up by the time you guys watching this. If not, it'll be up sometime soon after this video. So yeah, we got all the gaming content coming you guys' way. So make sure you check back here daily for more content from us at On The Sticks. Thanks.